Linear Equations Part 6 We're going to be solving more challenging linear equations involving fractions. Example 1 Let's solve x over 2 equals x over 3 plus 1 over 4. So the first thing we have to do is we have to somehow remove the denominators from each of these terms. Now we could cross multiply on this side and then cross multiply on that side but the best way of doing this is to multiply throughout by the lowest common multiple of 2, 3 and 4. So have a moment and think about what the lowest common multiple of that is. The lowest common multiple is 12. So we can multiply each of these terms by 12. So let's do this. Let's multiply the first term by 12 and then on the right hand side we'll multiply both terms by 12 and now as you can see we can simplify the fractions so 12 over 2 is 6 so we'll have to 6x on the left hand side on the right hand side 12x over 3 that's 4x and 12 over 4 is 3 and we solve as before we can take the 4x to the other side by subtracting 4x from both sides. 6x minus 4x is 2x. And the 4x and minus 4x cancel out. And we're left with 2x plus 3. Dividing both sides by 2, we get x is equal to 3 over 2. Example 2, this one is a little bit more challenging because we've got brackets and fractions. We've got fractions that are multiples of the brackets. Now we could have written this one third times in the brackets t plus 1 as t plus 1 all over 3. So we've brought the, bra the fraction out of the bracket and we've now got it as a multiplier. So again we want to get rid of the denominators and we do this by as before by multiplying throughout by the lowest common multiple of 3, 2 and 4 which just as well as before is 12. So let's multiply each of these terms by 12. So we'll multiply the first term, the second term and the third term. So this 12 times 3 is 36 there. Now we can simplify each one and remove the fractions. So 12 over 3 is 4, 12 over 2 is 6 and 36 over 4 is of course 9 and we can then multiply throughout so 4t plus 1 that becomes 4t plus 4 6 times t minus 2 is 6t minus 12 plus and that's 9t plus 18 we've got 6t plus 9t so that becomes 15t and this minus 12 plus 18 that becomes plus 6. Now let's get all the t's to the left hand side. So we can subtract 15t from the right hand side and the left hand side there. So 4t minus 15 is minus 11t. And these 15t's they cancel out. So we're left with 11t plus 4 equals 6. Let's subtract 4 from the left hand side and also the right hand side. Because these 4's cancel out. 6 minus 4 is 2. Finally, we've got minus 11t on the left-hand side. So we can divide both sides by minus 11. As these cancel out, leaving us with t is equal to 2 over minus 11. Written conventionally, we can say t is equal to minus 2 over 11. And that is the solution.